the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve after a day's rainfall and the vegetarian ants are very busy harvesting seeds and bringing them back to their nest. These ants are a critical part of this very complex ecosystem. Without them, many plant species in this area would simply not exist. Together with the plants, they have actually developed over a great deal of time to depend on one another. This is known as Myromeca quarry. And Myromeca quarry is basically a form of seed dispersal which relies exclusively on ants. The ants do not actually eat the seeds that they take below the ground and many of these seeds will in fact germinate. They eat the fatty eleosum on the seed. And basically that's a reward for the ant and at the same time it's a way of getting the seed into the ground for the plant. So over a great deal of time this is known as a convergent development or a convergent evolutionary trend where different species have actually moved towards a point of reliance on one another in order to survive. Unlike many other ant species that occur in the reserve, this species is completely non-aggressive towards people. There are some species in this area that will actually attack if I had to go within a few meters of them. Even the vibration of my moving past them would cause them to all attack. And of course, interestingly, meerkats do not attack this ant species at all. I find that very curious because they also have juicy pupa that the meerkats can eat. Except I've never noticed in over 20 years meerkats eating this species. However, meerkats will commonly attack the Campanotus ant species and raid their nests, which is in fact a carnivorous ant species. This ant species forms great highways through the vegetation. The vegetarian ants are very busy today collecting seeds and moving along what I call the little ant highways. The vegetarian ant highway. These pathways are made by thousands and thousands of ants on the move. All the way back to their nest carrying seeds. They are vegetarian ants. And it's incredible, just after the rainfall, when these seeds have the best chance to germinate, the ants are in fact taking them underground. This entire area, which just looks like a mound of sand, in fact consists of seeds. Suddenly the clouds have departed and the incredible heat from the sun is bursting through the clouds here once again, taking the cooler temperatures up to rapidly over 40 degrees centigrade and the ants are all suddenly rushing back to the ant nest. So they've been out collecting seeds all morning when it was much cooler and just after the rainfall and now I see them all rushing towards this nest. There's a definite change in their behavior. Many of the ant highways are now suddenly almost empty.